It's at Genesis in Philadelphia that all the issues of family, the recovery movement, and repressed memories of sexual abuse come together most dramatically. I've watched you go through an awful lot. I think that you are incredibly strong and capable. I'm glad you're doing it. Detachment from one's family of origin is an essential part of the Genesis philosophy. Um, I haven't seen my parents in three and a half years. I detached from them um, after some memories of abuse came up. Um, I didn't think I would ever have to detach from them. Pat had talked about detachment, and I thought, well, I'll be one of the people that doesn't have to. And um, after the memories of abuse came up, it was my choice. I knew that I needed to get away from them. I knew I was very emotionally um, hooked to them. Carol's parents remember the day they received her letter of detachment. I was so pleased to see that she was in touch with me, but little did I know what was in the letter. She said we were a terminally ill, totally dysfunctional family, and that she didn't want to raise her children the way she was raised. It's like a big, deep hole that's there that nobody can fill until she comes back. And as long as she's with Genesis and they keep telling her what to do, I, I don't know, how, it could go on and on and on. People say, what's the biggest criticism of your method? And I said, detachment. Detachment is something that's important to separate and individuate from one's parents or some other addictive person that they're involved with. And then they have to deal with something that addicts totally hate, and that's the ability to be alone. I was given the option by Pat of um, spending about five months alone. And it was absolutely terrifying for me, the thought of it. Alone without? Without, basically without people, without friends, without my husband, without my children. Um, I was so severely addicted to people that it was kind of like an alcoholic having to leave the bar. And I was absolutely devastated when I heard that because I know that she's always been a loving, wonderful mother and has spent so much time with the children. And this must be, I can't imagine what it's doing to her that she's not with her children and taking care of them. I hope that it can work out that we can all live together again. That's my goal. You see the children now? Not yet, but hopefully soon. How long have you, haven't you seen them? About eight months. Yeah, it's been very hard. It's been four years since I've seen them, and I can't imagine what they're thinking, where we are, why we've deserted them. But, you know, I don't blame Carol. Um, I don't think she's meant to hurt us. I think that's far from her mind. I think she's just gotten into this, and she's gotten brainwashed, and I think her free will, and everything's been taken away from her. She does everything they tell her to do. And unfortunately, when uh, the parents don't have really information about what dysfunctional families are about or even what our therapy is about or whatever, they, of course, blame us and um, blame us rather than thinking their adult children are making their own decisions. I detached from my family, did not see them for five years, did not communicate with them for five years. Was it helpful? Absolutely. If I didn't detach from them, I would always be going to them saying, what should I do now? What decision should I make? Detach from your mother? Yes, I did. About uh, two and a half years ago. But how did you do it? Um, I did it by writing her a letter, but that came after several conversations in person, over lunches, um, trying to tell her that I needed to be doing what I needed to do. I needed to go my way and find out what was what was wrong with me. Um, and she was very resistant to that fact. I remember at one point I used the term of, I felt that we had a severely dysfunctional family and she just, she was, if I hear that word one more time, I'm gonna throw up. 
But when I picture it, I think of myself as I was on this sort of life raft, you know, out in the middle of a storm. And there's all these things holding it down, you know. And it gets to a point where it's either me or the dysfunction. I'm going to either get sw swallowed in the disease, which I was, or get out. And it's like I had to took out my machete, you know, and I'm cutting the ropes. It's like, you know, I need to take care of me. I think when you were asking us earlier, what is it that makes us so good? And I think it's detachment. It's something that a lot of therapists have a real hard time doing because they probably haven't separated and individuated from their own loved ones. And so they can't help clients to do it. I did detach from my family because a the therapist told me that the only way that I could work through my issues is, is not to have interference from my family. Rich Stinger was a policeman. He became a patient at Genesis after his wife Kathy started therapy there. They had been married for four years and had a son, Jake, when Kathy became depressed and began her treatment. Soon, Rich was told that he too needed treatment in Genesis. I was told by the therapist that if I didn't resign myself to this therapy, that Kathy would divorce me and that I would have little or no contact with Jake. So Rich went into therapy and detached from his own family, who were upset and bewildered by his action. He says he tried his best to be a good patient. Initially, I would say I was the model client, kept all my appointments, did what they told me, paid my bills, the whole thing. But after a year, things weren't any better. I was contacted by Kathy that she wanted a divorce and had contacted a lawyer and had a, a divorce uh, complaint drawn up. Even though you went to therapy? Yes. Why was that? Well, I asked her that and she said that's what Pat told her to do and that if we work things out and uh, if we got divorced and things worked out, we could always get remarried. Detachment with couples is necessary uh, for lots of different reasons, or it could be for lots of different reasons. One could be that one of the spouses chooses to keep the addictive lifestyle going. Uh, another reason could be that the couple is so enmeshed, and that meaning that they are so dependent on each other that they really can't do their individual work without getting more meshed with the couple, with the other person. And um, so at times, uh, we do recommend that they, they do have some detachment uh, for a period of time while they're working on their individual issues. So how long have you been apart?